Mm -hmm. And we are back as promised with some more of Why in the Morning. And this is Queen's Wednesday on Why in the Morning. And it's time for Strength of a Woman. But before my Strength of a Woman of the Day, I'd like to send a major shout out to Oguda Kayesu and Kala Vival for always starting our Wednesdays on a laughing note with the breaking views. And uh, as I always say, if you think there's a video out there that needs to be showcased to the world, a video that should be breaking the view. Send it our way on our social media handles, which are always right there below the screen, white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. It's time for the moment of truth. My strength of a woman of the day goes by the name Esther Kabogi. She's been banking for 13 years, and she has a passion in dancing, as she's here to share a story with us. Karibu sana. Thank you, All right. Yeah. The camera is number four. That is where you'll be looking okay. uh, when you're talking to the people. Okay. But for now, we can have this uh, conversation, conversation yeah, okay. together. Right. Uh, Esther, uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can just give them a brief bio of yourself. Um, Esther Kibungi, uh -huh. my name. And um, um, basically, my university, mm. I attended Daystar. First, I, I attended Musongari because mm -hmm. that is where I started my base immediately mm -hmm. after my high school. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, upon completion of my IT course in Musongari, mm -hmm. then I uh, Daystar, I took up a course in um, marketing, business admin, and a minor in communication. Then, um because my, my goal, my hope was actually to be a presenter at KBC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then... Um, oh, that's our mother station yes. right there. Uh, I think then my inspiration was Zaina Baziz. Uh -huh. you remember her? She yes, I'm a big fan. Uh -huh. Mia Lewa Tribu. Uh -huh. Yeah, so she was my, my mentor then. Uh -huh. So um, immediately now, after my university, I also I started working, mm -hmm. banking. Uh, banking... It's, it's a career I never imagined. You never imagined yourself yes, like it? Yes, I never did. Certainly not. Uh -huh. uh, um, I'm actually amazed. Uh -huh. uh, 13 years later, uh -huh. and counting, uh -huh. I'm still in banking. Do you love it? That is a big question. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I think what I love about it is, is the experience. Uh -huh. The fact that uh, you meet customers of all uh, different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. You get to meet them at their workplace. Mm -hmm. They meet you at your workplace. Mm -hmm. So that interaction mm -hmm. and the fact that I'm able to offer them a service mm -hmm. and they're, they, then that makes them happy mm -hmm. is what keeps me going and that's what motivates me. Uh -huh. yeah, actually, for me, the defining moment is uh -huh. when I can make a customer happy uh -huh. and they leave there saying, thank you, uh -huh. you made my day. Oh, what are some yeah. of the things that make a Kenyan customer happy at a bank? I'm curious um, to know. I think, in general, mm -hmm. everybody just wants to be, to feel special. Mm -hmm. So, and when you go out of your way, mm -hmm. beyond your call of duty, mm -hmm. just to make the experience... Call of duty, I like other that. Than, uh -huh. ...rather than the norm, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, basically what they do, they, it's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. You make them happy they refer you customers because that's basically the kind of job I do. Uh -huh. You make them happy uh, as much as the end goal is not for them to refer you anybody mm -hmm. is that uh, you basically change. Mm -hmm. um, you, you basically make a difference mm -hmm. uh, and give them a reason to want to be with you. I think the next time somebody asks uh, what you do for a living, tell them making my customers have it. <laughs> totally, yes. Totally. Because right. that's the uh -huh. goal. That's the goal right there. Because even when you have your own business, I normally uh -huh. say what you do uh -huh. when you're given a platform, for example, here at KBC, mm -hmm. you're not serving KBC. Mm -hmm. You're serving uh, those the, customers the that customers. are viewing. All right. Or those viewers or those Kenyans that, uh -huh. that are viewing. So now... Um, that extra mile you go mm -hmm. to make the the experience pleasant mm -hmm. and exciting mm -hmm. is what basically puts you above the rest. All right. Yes. This is the kind of attitude that got you to management uh, Just, level. Yes. yes. Uh, but I'm pretty sure 13 years ago it wasn't the same. How did you start? Um, I started, I actually started way back in Daystar because mm -hmm. I realized that uh, um, you know, when you have your folks mm -hmm. and, and uh, you have like the three of you that are also in the university. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of in terms of the resources, mm -hmm. strenuous. Mm -hmm. So I figured from where I sat mm -hmm. beyond now uh, waiting on my folks mm -hmm. to provide me with, uh, mm -hmm. because we're able to do the tuition, mm -hmm. but still you could see 
you know, there was a struggle, yeah. There was a struggle. Mm -hmm. So in campus, I decided to start up um, some small businesses, uh -huh. you know, to side hustle. Uh -huh. So where you say, you look at an opportunity, because uh -huh. then I figured that um, students uh -huh. kind of we get lazy uh -huh. or we love eating a lot. Uh -huh. Yes. So, and sometimes whatever we are offered is not satisfying. All factual. Yes. <laughs> so, so, I started doing some sandwiches, uh -huh. uh, making some juices. Uh -huh. This is a daystar. A daystar. Right. And then I'd sell that, uh -huh. make a lot of pocket money. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, beyond that, mm -hmm. uh, I also looked for another business opportunity mm -hmm. where I would get people come and do cleaning. Mm -hmm. So, um, so like there you have uh, dry cleaning. Yes. But now in school you cannot uh -huh. afford to, in campus you can't afford to have that uh -huh. because people will, the affordability. Uh -huh. So we'd have people coming to do cleaning for, uh -huh. for, for, for us. Uh -huh. So I figured that as an opportunity. Uh -huh. So planned myself accordingly uh -huh. based on the classes that I took. Uh -huh. So what I used to do is um, just tell people, mm -hmm. if you need me to do some cleaning for you, iron for you, I mm -hmm. can do that mm -hmm. at a price. Uh -huh. And I made a lot of money. So you them. run a laundry business. Yeah. You run a, a food business. Yes. You've run a food business. Yes. What, have, what haven't you done with your life? <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I think that was the starting point mm -hmm. and uh, what I'd like to encourage the the young people mm -hmm. I, I basically everywhere I go mm -hmm. I, I, I mention this because mm -hmm. we also visit due to the nature of my job mm -hmm. we visit schools we visit every other institution mm -hmm. so what I tell them is uh, your passion mm -hmm. or you actually look at a need mm -hmm. then come up with a solution mm -hmm. so if you start it off while you're still in school mm -hmm. it makes much more of a difference all right don't wait until you're out thinking that you will get a job uh -huh. because the reality of it right now we don't have that many jobs uh -huh. and most other jobs are shutting down yes most businesses are closing yes. or downsizing at the moment yeah. so for me what i keep saying is whatever you start in school uh -huh. However minute you think maybe, uh -huh. or uh, uh -huh. it has business. an impact in yes, your life. Uh -huh. it has a very big impact. Because uh -huh. I actually respect these guys who hawk. They uh -huh. make a lot of money. Uh -huh. If you sat down with them uh -huh. and they told you how much they make in a day, uh -huh. you bow down. It's very easy to overlook what they do. Yeah. Because uh, it takes a lot of energy, strength, willpower. Yes. But it's... It, Every business is a business. Yes. All right. Learning from uh, coming from a business uh, side of life right. to being employed, transitioning yeah. to to, uh, employment. To, to employment. How was that like? Um, it was easy. Mm -hmm. uh, then I think because you don't take all the risks. Now. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> now you have to wait for the pay slip. Uh -huh. uh, however, uh, the transitioning was not hard mm -hmm. because I think in my mind. Mm -hmm. Then during our time, it was more of you need to get employed. Mm -hmm. It's not like these days. Mm -hmm. These days, employing yourself is far much better uh -huh. than being employed. Mm -hmm. So uh, it wasn't difficult at all. Mm -hmm. uh, the only challenge was their set of rules. Mm -hmm. Now, now you have to follow rules, a set of rules. That yes. Uh, the timelines, you're not your own boss anymore. Uh -huh. You're under rules, terms, and conditions mm -hmm. that you must follow. Nonetheless, because I was still young, dynamic, in, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't difficult. Mm -hmm. So the only difficult part now was now moving now from Nairobi uh -huh. to Eldoret. To another branch to another in a different town, town yeah. uh, with different challenges yes. and everything. All right, so being somebody who has been in business, even if it's a small business, mm -hmm. and having uh, customers uh, right now right. who are in business and who are young people, what are some of the needs you've seen over time that young business owners have when it comes to finance? Um. Okay. Financing has always been a challenge mm -hmm. based on where you are mm -hmm. in your business. Mm -hmm. So as a young person, I know when you don't have the muzzle power mm -hmm. in, term, in terms of financing mm -hmm. and you're starting out mm -hmm. is a challenge because any, any sponsor or any bank, mm -hmm. uh, bank don't usually give money to mm -hmm. startups. Mm -hmm. Reason being, you have, you've not been tried and tested. Uh -huh. 
and when you've not been tried and tested, uh -huh. the chances of us gambling and saying, let's give you this money uh -huh. so that uh, you can start up your business, uh -huh. then wait for the returns, uh -huh. you will now find yourself in a situation where you're not able to pay the money back. Uh -huh. So ordinarily, yes, that has been a challenge. Uh -huh. And that's why the government came up with now that other solution of mm, um, the youth fund. The youth fund. Uh -huh. It was supposed now to assist the young people mm -hmm. along that line where you given so long as you have a very good business idea mm -hmm. um, you get financing mm -hmm. now with uh, with our industry mm -hmm. is that uh, or any lender even mm -hmm. for you as a person assuming mm -hmm. you did lending mm -hmm. you have to have some background mm -hmm. so when you have already started your business and perhaps you want to open up another mm -hmm. after a an year or so uh -huh. that's where now uh, the a bank the, might the take you serious car. the uh -huh. bank will take you seriously because mm -hmm. what we say is we need to look at the way you are self-assessment mm -hmm. where i am right now mm -hmm. can i honestly say mm -hmm. that uh, i'm making this amount of money mm -hmm. and if i took a facility with the bank can i be able to pay it back because with taking a loan is more of uh, taking a risk mm -hmm. but a calculated risk where i know i'm taking it mm -hmm. and i know my business shall be able to pay so it's a risk both ways for the for the debtor and the creditor. Totally, yes. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. taking a risk here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what are some of the options that mm -hmm. we have as young people when it comes to to, to financing now? Now that we we know very well and clear, we cannot easily get loans without assets, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to survive. We need to build a future for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, with financing, mm -hmm. uh, I think the most the very most important thing mm -hmm. is, um, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. don't start it off mm -hmm. when you have already left school. Mm -hmm. start, is, start, it, start, start your business mm -hmm. as early as you can, mm -hmm. when maybe perhaps your folks or any other person can finance you. Mm -hmm. Because with the lenders, it's a bit difficult mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you don't already have a track record. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the track record we use to determine whether you can get a facility. Mm -hmm. Now, Start where you are, however small. Mm -hmm, you need so much money to uh -huh. start. It is that small that you start with, mm -hmm. and that passion that you have, mm -hmm. that now will make that big. Will, will move you to the next phase of All your right. business. So the secret is starting small. Yes. Saving, 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 saving. Saving very important. Saving very important. Yes. And the passion is the tops everything. It's top. Top uh. notch. Uh, passion is top notch. Uh -huh. Saving is number two. Uh -huh. Then number three now is it your drive your drive yes. how, <laughs> how you wake up in the morning yes and what you do what uh, before you, do. you go to sleep at yes. night all right uh in your free time you you're a dancer yes. not so many people know about this yes uh how, how does this help with the stresses that come with numbers yes. and the financial industry um uh because of the numbers uh -huh. you realize that you can't be an introvert uh -huh. Actually, any business, uh -huh. if you need to make money, you have to be very outgoing. Uh -huh. So you have to look for, again, dance has always been my passion. Mm -hmm. So being my passion, mm -hmm. something I started way back when I was in primary high school, mm -hmm. uh, competitively in campus, mm -hmm. then uh, slowed down when I moved to another town mm -hmm. because of the opportunities. Mm -hmm. How Now, um, uh, the thing is, um, with dance, mm -hmm. it helps me get rid of stress. Mm -hmm because you focus on something else other than the numbers. Uh -huh. So that stress, uh, re the, the relief that I get out of it, you realize that when you're a dancer, you must also be physically very active. Mm -hmm. So in terms of stress, you're uh -huh. better able to manage. All right. Yeah. So it's very important to, to have a physical activity. Very important. Uh -huh. very. That you engage yourself in. Totally for, uh -huh. for anybody. Right. Whatever you love, whether it's playing music, whatever uh -huh. it is, mm -hmm. beyond the business that you do, mm -hmm. there has to be something else that makes you, uh, helps you unwind. Right. Whether it's adventure, uh -huh. uh, whether it's running, jogging, uh -huh. anything that physically uh, helps helps you any anything that you do that helps your mind. Mm -hmm. And obviously, when you engage your body, your mind also. It makes a very big difference because it all, all right. starts from the mind. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, the next thing I'd like us to talk about is financial literacy. Yeah. And uh, this financial literacy is uh, level is very low in this country as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, from the way Kenyans borrow 
to the way Kenyans spend, uh, you can tell for, for a fact that the, the, the literacy levels are very low. Yeah. Uh, so the first thing I'd like to ask, are there things that you know right now about mm -hmm. money that mm -hmm. you wish you knew back then, 13 years ago? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, borrowing, saving, mm -hmm. money in general is uh -huh. something that is never taught in school. Uh -huh. I think in school, yes, we must, be in, we must go to school. Uh -huh. That was now creates a difference between you and any other person. Uh -huh. But then... Uh, uh, more work is you actually the school of hard knocks mm -hmm. is actually after school that's mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. realize you you need to be street smart mm -hmm. street smart because um, uh, first you will never learn about the culture of saving mm -hmm. uh, from school mm -hmm. so well, what you need to learn actually for me what I learned is in Japan they have mm -hmm. the best culture in saving mm -hmm. So for them, uh, when it comes to saving, is a priority. And mm -hmm. saving is very key. Uh -huh. Because even when you come for any loan, uh -huh. or any person, even a Shylock, uh -huh. uh, for, for especially for lenders, uh -huh. assuming you want to buy a car, uh -huh. you want to buy um, property, uh -huh. so generally, or even you want to start off your business, uh -huh. uh, sometimes you're told uh, you must give us some sort of a commitment. Uh -huh. So now, at that point, is when you realize that um, con your contribution is very key. Mm -hmm. So, and your contribution being very key, meaning saving is very important. Because mm -hmm. nobody will give you 100% mm -hmm. financing on mm -hmm. anything that you want. So they will tell you, I'll give you 90. Mm -hmm. then, then you 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 can contribute 10. Mm -hmm. Others will tell you 80, then you can contribute 20. Others even 50. Others even 50, mm -hmm. based on uh, your business uh -huh. and how the financing model uh -huh. is all about. So, very important. Saving, very uh -huh. important. Now, the culture, the, le the, the lending, okay, I mean, the, the, borrowing. Uptick, the borrowing culture. Uh -huh. uh, I think Kenyans, we are very good at borrowing. <laughs> yes. Mm. It's good business for yeah, banks. Good. <laughs> it is good uh -huh. for an investor. Uh -huh. And because you're very good at borrowing, um, you find that we have very many banks. Uh -huh. We have like 43, 45 banks in uh -huh. Kenya. So in Nairobi alone, you can imagine, uh -huh. the Kenyan banks plus the international banks. Uh -huh. So, and then now we have the mobile lending. Uh -huh. So now, our uptake on loans is very high. We uh -huh. actually beat most of the countries in Africa. Uh -huh. as, as, as a government and as a people. <laughs> yes. So as a government, you know where we are. Uh -huh. And as the people also. Uh -huh. That is, Kenyans are risk takers. Uh -huh. They will borrow money regardless. So that tells a trait about Kenyans, yeah? Yes. That's <laughs> why you see South African banks are here. Uh, um, all, most of the banks, international banks, are actually in Kenya. Because mm -hmm. when you compare the two, like in Kenya, mm -hmm. Kenya and South Africa, because there is actually, we have microfinance institutions mm -hmm. coming all the way from Botswana. Mm -hmm. To set in up Kenya, shop in Nairobi. To set up shops in uh -huh. Nairobi. Business is booming. Business is booming. Uh -huh. The only challenge with us, uh -huh. <laughs> I stand corrected, uh -huh. but from my experience, uh -huh. is we are equally not very good payers. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> the yeah. the debt is not taken for investment. Yes, yeah. so sometimes chances I think are. Chances are uh -huh. the debts are not taken for investment, uh -huh. and even if we do, when a business goes sour. Uh -huh. What would you thought? All right. Yeah. I'm curious. Uh, you, you're a mother of two kids. Yeah. And uh, congratulations on your baby. Thank uh, you. Six months old. Yeah. Uh, I wish you were on Salimia, but he'll see this when he grows up. <laughs> when he grows up. Yeah. All right. Is this something you're going to be impacting on your kids? Is this something you're going to teach you, to be teaching your kids, financial li literacy? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. um, as much as I can. We started from the house, uh -huh. so by the time they're leaving the house, we back to school. Mm -hmm. um, but my first responsibility is that mm -hmm. to teach them because I never, I, I, my dad taught me uh -huh. about savings, uh -huh. but I used to take, I never used to take it seriously uh -huh. until I, when I found myself in campus. In campus, now you realize yes. the world is not the as world easy as is I thought. Different, yeah. and uh -huh. it's not easy. Uh -huh. So I think sometimes uh, we don't 
uh, take things seriously mm -hmm. because we have not encountered challenges mm -hmm. or we think our folks will always be there. Mm -hmm. But the primary responsibility mm -hmm. is our, uh, as much as I can, I teach my kids to do that because mm -hmm. I have opened for them accounts, mm -hmm. like my four year old, mm -hmm. I opened for her an account. So uh -huh. every day, because you get, when you open accounts with the bank, uh -huh. we give you a piggy bank. Uh -huh. So that piggy bank is just oh. to encourage that oh, the culture. Kid to see, all to right, save. all right, right. Because it's something yeah. visual. You it's can something see. visual. Uh -huh. So when you start it off and you place it in their room, uh -huh. where they know if I can save and 10 shilling uh -huh. every day until the piggy bank is fully, uh, is uh -huh. full, then you go with them to the bank, uh -huh. they offload the cash uh -huh. and count the cash uh -huh. and have them deposit, not you, uh -huh. have them deposit in their account. Uh -huh. It is, it, it's liberating it goes a long for the way. child, mm -hmm. yes. It That's why it all starts. All right, so it yeah. should start with the simple things, like simple the piggy things. bank in yes. the bedroom. Right. And uh, t showing them what savings can yes. do, the benefits that come with saving. Totally. All right, so how can you show the kids mm -hmm. <laughs> benefits that come with saving? They spend part of it sometimes yes. on themselves. Yes, uh -huh. you tell them uh, if, you know, like when you, even your business person, you say you can't mm -hmm. make one shilling and spend one. Uh -huh. If you make one shilling, you can only spend like some 80 cents. Uh -huh. So now with the kids, if you give them like an allowance, mm -hmm. you have to inculcate in them uh -huh. that it's good to share. Uh -huh. uh, let's help those that don't have. Uh -huh. Secondly, also as we help those that don't have, we also need to remember ourselves, mm -hmm. which is pay me back. Because right. the thing about saving, the, the reverse about saving is 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 um you're paying yourself mm -hmm. and when you pay yourself mm -hmm. it's some sort of a reward when you say there's nothing as fulfilling as yes, paying yourself they like paying yourself mm -hmm. so to make it easy for anybody or even your kids to understand Eh, wakati utakuwa na shida fulani ama utahitaji A, B, C, D, uh -huh. then ndo utahitaji. Uh -huh. I mean, kwa sababu akiba hayozi. Uh -huh. So, hiyo tu, the, uh, the, 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 those small bits uh -huh. of, of, of the saving part. Uh -huh. And then now engaging them, especially that banking factor. Because uh -huh. eh, I have seen kids coming with their folks and they are so excited. Uh -huh. And then uh, they, we open for them the bank, the piggy bank. Uh -huh. They, they count and they deposit, it's uh -huh. rewarding. It's rewarding to them. Yes. And they learn something and from it. And they learn something. And engaging them is very important from a young age. Yeah. All right, so if you're a parent out there, now you know financial literacy is very important and it's a parent's role uh, to teach their kids these things. Yes. All right, do you think uh, the system, the education system, can mm -hmm. play a role as well? Do you think they're slackened somewhere? Yeah, we, the system has slackened, uh -huh. but at the end of the day, uh, the ball is usually in our court as parents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because whether the system works or it doesn't, mm -hmm. the children, these are our children. Mm -hmm. So the best we can do is make use of what we have mm -hmm. uh, with the time that we have mm -hmm. to inculcate that in our kids. Because right. if we wait for the system, the system is the system. Mm -hmm. We can't, we, we, when you say you're going to change it, you mm -hmm. can only change it from where you are mm -hmm. by inculcating that culture in your own kids because that you have control. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. You came from, uh, I hear they call it, started from the bottom, now yes. you're here. Yes. All right. And uh, there's so many lessons you have learned in right. the process. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a long way you have come. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what, is, what is that message? Mm hmm. Uh, that you'd like to send to the ladies out there who are watching you right now? Um, I think the message I'd like to send mm -hmm. is that uh, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep learning. Mm -hmm. Have mentors. Mm -hmm. People who are better than you. Mm -hmm. People that challenge you. People who have done it before, yes. seen it before. Yes, mm -hmm. because mentors are so significant. Mm -hmm. We can't do without them. Then... Uh, Appreciate small beginnings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, don't. This get is like the eleventh yes. time you're talking yes. about small beginnings. Appreciate uh. the small beginning mm -hmm. because every human being mm -hmm. that we see on this earth mm -hmm. has come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. The owner, I mean, the owners of the buildings we see in this town mm -hmm. came from somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
And if you sit down with them, mm -hmm. you will actually learn how far they have come. They di didn't just wake up and they have those magnificent cars, magnificent mm -hmm. buildings. Mm -hmm. So appreciate small beginnings, mm -hmm. believe, believe in yourself, mm -hmm. and always look up to God. Always look ultimate. up to God. Yes. God is the ultimate. He's the ultimate. All right. You've done yes. this for 13 years yes. and you love it. I'm not seeing you quitting anytime soon. What is your vision with it? What, uh, when you walk out, when you finally walk out of the banking sector right. and uh, the finance uh, the yeah. in industry itself, mm -hmm. how would you love to leave it? Um, to leave the banking industry? Yes. Like what, what impact would you love to, to leave there? Uh, what I have learned with banking is the... It's more, it's more of service. Mm -hmm. So that service, the service bit where mm -hmm. I go out of my way, mm -hmm. it, unconditional service. Mm -hmm. That is what I'd love mm -hmm. to also continue with because with service is everywhere, mm -hmm. regardless of where you're working. Mm -hmm. Then the other bit is being humble. Being humble. Being humble. All right, humility. Humility is, is very, goes a long way. Uh, being humble. <laughs> being humble. Yes. It's very hard to be humble in the yeah. shoots, the not, hand of shoots. Not, we not see you guys. Humility, uh -huh. but being humble in the mm -hmm. sense that uh, you understand mm -hmm. whatever field, mm -hmm. and, and you 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 understand people. You learn how people operate. Mm -hmm. Uh, appreciate what it is that they do mm -hmm. because when, when I learn your trade I'll appreciate your trade mm -hmm. so that knowledge and uh, keeping yourself mm -hmm. keeping your mind you can't appreciate what you don't understand yes uh -huh. so even if I'm in the medical industry and mm -hmm. I'm in the banking I don't have to have done banking mm -hmm. all, all I need is just what can I train myself to learn what happens there because uh -huh. you can do anything mm -hmm. You can't. You can do anything when you choose to. Uh -huh. So humility, and versus uh, be, being smart is uh -huh. very important also. All right. Yes. Uh, I'll give you a chance to share your social media handles just in case you'd yeah. like to interact with uh, mm -hmm. with some people. Uh, your camera is number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my Facebook mm -hmm. is um, Hadasa Kibungi. Mm -hmm. So you can search me. Mm -hmm. You'll get me. Mm -hmm. And then on I Instagram, I have H Kibungi. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get me there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, but uh, in case of any other further interactions, mm -hmm. have my email address mm -hmm. that you can always get me to, through. Mm -hmm. You can ask questions, mm -hmm. um, which is at uh, uh, you Yumi Yumi Shabak uh -huh. at gmail dot com. Yumi Shabak. Yes. Uh, do you mind spelling that for us, yes. please? <laughs> Just spell it, please. Yumi. Uh -huh. Y. Uh -huh. U. Uh -huh. Y. Uh -huh. Then S H uh -huh. A. B A K Shabak. Shabak. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming through Thank to Wine the Morning. Thank you for having me. And we appreciate you so Thank much. You. Keep doing what you're doing. Sante. All right. We've Sante come to Sante. the end of this particular segment. Strength of a Woman is a name on Wine the Morning on Quince Wednesday. Uh, brought to you by the main man himself, Barry Moses, or It's Barry Moore on every social media platform. Uh, Kalami Valley is coming up next uh, with Girls Talk. Hot topic. You don't want to miss it. <laughs>